right, hello. Well, today uh, on Mission Arabic, I just want to highlight the Hario uh, scale. It, uh, this is something I picked up about three weeks ago, I'd say, and I have really, really liked it, actually. It's, um, I'd say it's helped out my, my coffee brewing quite a bit, get a lot more consistent flavor uh, when, when brewing, and so I highly recommend it, but I really wanted to show you how it works, and Really, for any any scale that you'd use for coffee brewing, it doesn't have to be the Hario. Um, Hario is a little bit more expensive, probably around forty five dollars. Uh, you can find some I saw on Amazon, more in the twenty five dollar range that get really good reviews. But uh, I picked this up for my birthday, so I splurged a little bit. And uh, so yeah. Anyways, let's get going from there. Today we're going to be using the Chemex, and I'm using our Mr. Arabica Guatemala coffee, which tastes excellent with the Chemex, in my opinion. Uh, I've already brewed, or excuse me, I've already ground our coffee to a medium coarse grind. You can see here, uh, it's already ground, and I've got my uh, Bonavita kettle uh, with the water temperature already up to 204 degrees. So, with that said, we can get started. Uh, first step when brewing with Chemex, you just want to wet down your filter. So, uh, trying to do this all one-handed here, but let's get this wet down. All right, let that pour through, and I'll dump it out here once it gets through. All right, I'm gonna dump it in the sink over there. It's all messy over there, so I'm not gonna show it to you. I mean, it's perfectly clean, never mind. All right. So the Chemex has a uh, the filter has been wet to take care of any residual paper taste there. We've dumped out the water. All right, and at this point, what we'll do is we'll hit this on-off uh, tear button. And what it's going to do is going to take a second here, and then you'll see that the scale will set to zero. So it's recognizing that it shouldn't be factoring in the weight of the Chemex itself. So right now at this point, we're just going to weigh uh, uh, our coffee. So I like to use 30 grams of coffee. So I'm going to pull this out here. And this will be for making a, I have a two cup coffee mug, so 16 ounces, and that's what I'll be doing here. So we'll dump our coffee up here. Excuse my poor camera skills while I'm trying to do this one handed. And as, as we're dumping the coffee, and you can see that our scale here, we're up to 8.5 grams. So let's see. We'll just keep going until I get to 30. Something I really noticed when I started using a scale was that I used to not use enough coffee. I was I used to just use a tablespoon to measure out, and I would do um, about two tablespoons of coffee per uh, cup that I was using. And uh, I was actually, once I started using the gram scale, I realized that I was probably about one to two tablespoons short um, and now maybe it just might be uh, you know the grind I was using or it could be whatever the density of this coffee specifically um, but that was something that I, I realized let's see we're up to 28.1 grams so we just need a little bit more here normally it wouldn't take me this long to get it spooned out but while trying to hold this camera it's a little more difficult hopefully I ground enough 29.2, come on, all right, well, I only ground 29.6 grams, but for this demonstration, normally I try to bring that to 30, um, but we'll keep it close enough for now, so, um, I'm sure people will probably scream at me if they think it should be at 30, but, all right, so with that said, um, now we take our water, and the another feature of this one specifically is there's these, this uh, timer function here. So on the Chemex, what they say is uh, you want it to allow a your coffee to bloom. Uh, so you uh, pour for about, or you let it blo blo uh, brew for about 30 seconds to get the, the bloom, and then you continue to um, pour more water after that. So at this point, I have my coffee weighed out to 
almost 30 grams. Ideally, I would have been at 30. But at this point, I'm going to reset. And so, yeah, hit this uh, on-off tear button again. And so now it brings me back to zero. And now I'm going to try to get to 454 grams of water. So I'm going to start my timer, uh, and then we'll start pouring. Make sure I get the grounds nice and wet. I'll let it rest there for a second until we get to about 30 seconds. Right now you can see we're at 172 grams of water. And I'm going to start pouring some more. Alright, we're getting close. I want to be up to 4.54, so just about there. Alright, went one gram over in water. but um, So, that is essentially how you use the scale. Uh, it is really pretty simple. Like, as you saw, uh, two buttons on this one, it's pretty standard. Um, at this point, uh, there's really not much more to it. The Chemex is doing its thing. And what the scale really does is it allows you to get that perfect mixture of coffee to water. And uh, some people like to, you know, you can play with that mixture. You, you can, um, you know, add more coffee or less coffee, whatever you want, to really fine-tune what you're trying to do. Um, but, you know, in my opinion, this has been a, a great purchase. It's really helped my, my coffee brewing, um, getting a lot more consistent flavors. So, I would highly recommend it. Um, I'll have some links below. You can, you know, pick one up on Amazon, and I'll I'll point out uh, there's another one I saw on Amazon too that uh, that was a little cheaper that got some pretty good reviews. I haven't tried it personally, but um, I'll have the link to it below too. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, and so, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope to talk to you soon. So this has been a Mission Arabica video. Uh, check us out on Facebook or Twitter or check out our page at missionarabica.com. So thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. See you.